What is going on everyone? Today we are going to be talking about graphics cards and just how impossible it seems to be to find them right now, whether it be from AMD or Nvidia. Honestly, both cards are extremely, both family of cards are extremely difficult to find right now from the GTX 1060 all the way up to the 1080 Ti. And on the AMD side, you're seeing it from the 460s, 470s, 480s, and the whole entire 500 series has pretty much been sold out since it came out about a month ago. And the big reason for that is because of cryptocurrency mining, mainly Ethereum. That's really the big one right now. A lot of people are talking about Ethereum. The value for it has just been skyrocketing over the past couple of months. And we can see right here, right now it's trading for about $265.76 or exactly that much. I should say about, it's exactly that much, which is actually down from the day previously. It's had a little bit of a dip in the past couple of days because there was a massive amount of Ethereum, a couple million dollars actually was dumped onto the GDAX exchange that resulted in the price dropping down to as low as 10 cents. So that has probably affected this drop that we're seeing now, even though the value did come right back up, it was a very temporary dip in the value over on the GDAX, GDAX exchange. So the value, I would expect this to start to come back up slowly again and probably continue to rise as the popularity of Ethereum is just like the, the value of it is through the roof. Um, we've also seen that with Zcash. Uh, Zcash is also steadily rising over the course of this year. It's just been going up, 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 and up. Uh, the, like I said, but the, over the past few days, that's kind of come down as well. But I do expect those to come back up. But that's really the main reason that we're seeing so many graphics cards are just missing from the marketplace. Like, go try to find an RX 580. You're not going to, like, you can't get them unless you go on eBay and try to get them used where you're going to pay like four, like four to five hundred dollars probably for them. So yeah, like right now over on Newegg, you can see all the RX 580s are listed for like six hundred and forty dollars. And most of them are not even in stock. And the ones you can find in stock um, are usually from third party sellers that are completely trying to price gouge you. Uh, so, you know, it's so it's really difficult right now to be able to get these cards for the gamers that want to buy them. So really, what are you left to do? I mean, if you've got you know, if you were fortunate enough to get a 580 or a, or like a, a 480 back when those were out, I mean, it was it might honestly be worth considering selling it because then you could get an upgrade in GPU. But now miners are getting so desperate that they're even buying up NVIDIA cards. I've seen people over on Facebook and a couple of the PC groups that I'm in who have been buying stacks and stacks and stacks of GTX 1060s over at Micro Center and posting pictures of all their 1060s they got, which is very likely due to the fact that the NVIDIA cards are doing better as far as power consumption is concerned, even though they cannot keep up with the hash rate of the AMD RX cards, not even close really. Um, Keith over at WCCF Tech, who we've had on TGW in the past, actually did a really great article just last month on cryptocurrency mining and the best hardware to kind of use for that and benchmarking it. And we can see the performance here for mega hash per second, which is the, that's how they calculate how fast a card is going to be at being able to calculate these huge algorithms for Ethereum mining and other cryptocurrencies. So we could see the 1080, you know, even though that is in gaming terms, a much faster card than something like the RX 480, it falls behind in terms of the mega hash per second that it can put out from the graphics card, but they do have really good power efficiency, which is probably why miners are who are desperate and can't find RX cards have been now going out and buying GTX cards as well. You know, even though you could see on the graph here, oh, like once again, I said courtesy of WCCF Tech who did this graph, um, you could see the RX cards doing significantly better than the higher end GTX cards like 1070 and 1080. So, and the, but the power consumption is lower on them. That's the one thing you will see consistently is that the power draw on these cards is lower. So that's making people even buy those cards up. So, so really, what are you to do right now? I mean, even if you have an RX 480 and let's say you say, okay, I want to get rid of my RX 480 because I could sell it for $450, which should pay for a GTX 1070, which is a faster card by a fair amount. It's going to be a faster card for gaming. And if you could do that sort of an upgrade, if you could sell your, um, you know, RX 480 to go out and get a 1070 or maybe a Vega card when those release, if you're sitting on the buy button day one, because we can expect the miners are going to buy up Vega cards as well as soon as they're available. So it's kind of like a battle right now between miners and gamers and who's going to be able to get the hardware that they need at a reasonable price. Miners have shown that they're willing to pay 
over retail to be able to get these cards because once they get them and they put them in their mining rigs, it's only a matter of time before they get back their ROI or return on investment from the cards that they're buying because they are essentially printing money with these things. They're just throwing them into big rack systems and just printing money with these graphics cards. Over on Newegg, once again, ten, uh, you can see the 1070s are going for an astronomical amount of money. Here they are, $740 for a GTX 1070 Founders card. Asus 1070, $690. I mean, if you go over on eBay, you might be able to find a deal, but even on the 1070 front and 1080s, those prices are starting to come up as well on used cards, but you might be able to find a deal. These are some recent sold listings that I have up here. You can see someone sold a 1070 for $350. He probably could have got a lot more from that if he didn't have it as a buy it now. Uh, someone else sold theirs for 500. So these cards are selling for at or above market value on eBay, but if you can find them at retail. It's usually from third-party sellers who are price gouging the shit out of people. Um, the 1080 over on Amazon as well was also just completely sold out. The only one I could even find a proper listing for with Amazon Prime was the Zotac 1080 Amp Edition, which is $520 on there, which is a reasonable price. That's about, that's what it should cost, but it ships in one to four weeks. So you have to be a little patient if you want to get these cards. It's just really insane right now to see this. And it's you know, kind of disappointing, I feel, for gamers, especially people at kind of like the mid-level wanting to get two to $300 cards like RX 580s or 480s, somewhere around there. You know, you're going to have a really difficult time finding those cards at what they should realistically be selling for because of Ethereum and cryptocurrency miners. Um, one deal I actually came across, which I had saw over on the Crit Show that I was watching last night, uh, Logan had mentioned the this desktop over on Best Buy, which is actually a pretty damn good purchase if you think about the value of what the card is right now for the RX 580. So they have a complete CyberPower PC system for $650 that has a Ryzen 1400 in there and an RX 580. So you could conceivably go down to Best Buy, get this system for $650, yank out the RX 580, throw it up on eBay and you'll probably clear around $450 to $500 on the graphics card alone. And then you'll still have a Ryzen 1400, eight gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte hard drive to play around with. So that might honestly be a wise investment choice if you wanna get that, if you wanted to do a Ryzen 1400 system to begin with. I mean, you can get that and sell the 580 and you know have a decent amount of money to go out and upgrade to a faster graphics card once the uh, availability maybe becomes, well, a little bit more available. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. I've seen, you know, on recent videos, a lot of hostility from people, you know, saying that they want to buy cards, but they can't just because of, you know, miners. And there's a lot of hostility, I feel, from gamers towards, you know, those, the cryptocurrency miners who are just printing money with this hardware rather than using it for gaming, which I guess uh, there's a lot of people who feel like that's what they're kind of made for. So they're disappointed that they can't get these graphics cards, but I would expect this to level off at some point, I mean, we did have this happen a few years back with Bitcoin, which has, you know, has died off in popularity. Not, and now we're seeing the rise with Ethereum and Zcash and other forms of cryptocurrency again. So I, I would expect this to level off at some point. We'll probably be able to get cards at a reasonable value. There's also been talks of NVIDIA as well as AMD developing some more like bare bones cards like the 1060 that are going to be strictly for cryptocurrency mining. So we're seeing that you know, kind of come to the forefront now where these companies are going to have to maybe just fastly manufacture um, some bare bones cut down cards that are going to be geared specifically towards cryptocurrency mining, which would probably help out a lot in terms of the marketplace and gamers being able to get a hold of cards. So I hope that that does begin happening sooner than later. But right now, it's really not a great time to buy a GPU unless you're just sitting there refreshing the buy pages all day and you just kind of happen to get lucky. And I feel like that's what's going to happen once the Vega cards come out. I mean, if you got a ton of money, I would just go wait online and buy some Vega cards. You could probably sell those things for a fortune after they, right after they become available because the cryptocurrency miners are going to want them Vega GPUs for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. But as always, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and uh, consider subscribing if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, you can always hit the notification bell down below and you'll find out whenever I upload new videos on graphics cards, tech news, and all that good sort of stuff. So I'm going to go out of here and I will catch you guys next time. Turn.